Hi there, Leo. How are you guys doing? I really hope that this video finds you well. Welcome back to the channel. It's me, Anissa, from the Inner Stereo. This is going to be your love general messages as a general reading, so the rules might get reversed or it may or may not resonate with you. And if this reading resonates with you, there's going to be a link down in the description box below for a personal reading with me, okay? So in this reading, Leo, it's going to be a you versus them format. I'm going to be pulling card about who is it that we're going to be talking about today and what their energy currently is like. Your challenges, past, present, future from both parties, and we're going to clarify them. And I'm also going to be pulling some advice card for you by the end of the session, okay? And please don't forget to check your sun, moon, rising, or Venus sign. One more time. There you go. Very interesting. What you don't see coming, Leo, is actually things are getting <clears throat> on your side here. Things are about to turn 100 and complete 180 for you in the future, okay? So this person's energy, they have the seven of pentacles, they have the full card, they have the seven of ones. I feel that right now this person is breaking free from their tendencies, I would say. I feel that this person right now truly wants to take a giant leap of faith within these connections. And one of the reasons for that has a lot to do with you pushing them to do that. It has a lot to do with you putting, setting foot, putting your foot down and setting boundaries and what you're expecting out of this connection. When you're pushing them to do that, I feel that this person is happily going to be doing that. Okay, so in the past, they have the Two of Swords and also the Ten of Swords. From your side, you have the Death card and you also have the Strength card. You might be dealing with an Aquarius, you might be dealing with the Leo, or you might be dealing with a Scorpio or a Water Sign Cancer by the Scorpio. That's as far as I could see right now. But I feel that in the past, you guys went through like a major, major transformative period in your life. I think that period went on from Leo season up to Scorpio season, where you're being taught a lot about yourself and the tendency of you to... Um, calm the storms, even though it might potentially hurt you. Being a bit dismissive of a certain situation that ends up hurting you, I would say, okay? But I feel that in the past, because you've learned that lessons, I feel that you're trying to push your foot down now. You're being firm. Death, strength, Leo, Scorpio is a very fixed energy where you feel that I need to start walking strong and believing in myself. And when you do that, I feel that there is this tremendous shift that they're feeling and it kind of like hurt them because due to the fact that they feel that you're no longer the person that you used to. At some point in the past, it kind of like made them feel a bit undecided about where to go or what to do in regards to these connections. However, in the now, because you're the four of cups and also the emperor, things that usually impresses you no longer impresses you. Breadcrumbing, minimum effort no longer impresses you you're now with the emperor card here you're standing brave you're sitting brave i mean on your rules or your boundaries like this is where i'm going and if people were to be taking my energy if people were to be surrounded being around me they need it like you're setting some sort of a standard and this person finally understood the assignment now they're the queen of cups and also the knight of cups again as i said because you push them because you teach them how to do it that's when I do feel that in the present moment. So if it hasn't happened already, it's probably going to happen like really, really soon. The fact that this person is going to be getting in touch with their emotions and they're going to be trying to offer you some sort of love, okay? Now, in the future, they have the Eight of Pentacles and also the Six of Cups. From your side, you have the Six of Pentacles and you also have the Queen of Wands. Happy times. This person in the future is going to be putting like a lot of consistencies and a lot of a persistence is within this connection because they believe that the connection between the both of you is something that is very divine like they could believe that you guys are soulmate or you guys are very twin flamish you guys are just so familiar like in reality if things aren't if 
you don't make things complicated or if they don't make things complicated in reality you both mix very well okay and they're starting to realize that and i feel that this person is going to be making you feel like yourself again now one of the biggest challenges within this connection is the page of pentacles and also the devil so one of the biggest challenges within this connection is one person every time one person it, this could be you this could be them every time there is fear there is anxieties there is um mental anguish that surrounds them they do have the tendency to be okay i still have options I, I can be in or i can be out what you need to understand leo is love is waking up every morning and deciding that you're in love with that person that day because <laughs> It's just never the same, right? The feelings is just never the same. Emotions, there is that webs and flows. So one person within this connection, every time things go bad or every time things go bad within them, they still have the tendency of like, okay, you know what? I'm not going to be putting myself or I'm not gonna, gonna be deciding or committing that today, you are my only options. I'm not gonna be treating this as a priority. I still have my one foot out the door. That is one of the biggest challenges within this connection. This could be you. This could be them. Now, let's clarify that Queen of Cups from their side in the present moment. Page of Wands. Ace of Pentacles and also the Hermit. You've grown. You've grown a lot. <clears throat> they know that their usual ways with the Page of Wands of trying to charm you or trying to have like a bomb sexual thing with you it's not going to work to their like it's not going to work to their advantages they need to start being offering you the real thing because you're becoming very hypercritical about their effort now let's clarify that four of cups from your site ten of pentacles in reverse the king of wands and also the knight of wands one of the reasons why you're setting boundaries is because you're starting to realize that this connection that you had with them in the past is not built on a very stable foundation. If things were to be going the same way that it was in the past, it's not going to be leading to the Ten of Pentacles in a preposition. It's not going to be leading into a relationship that lasts for a long time. So now you're trying to address it. What I want in my life is a Ten of Pentacles in order for me to achieve that it means that i cannot treat this group projects you know the project the collaborations between you and them as an individual project which is a good thing leo now let's clarify that knight of cups <clears throat> nine of swords empress death clarify the emperor the moon card the king of queen of cups and also the page of swords <laughs> it's like you guys are like the thing is like this okay it's like when this person comes into you you have two sides of you you have the queen of cups and you also have the page of swords this person can fool you no more the things that used to impresses you like maybe if they were to be breadcrumbing or they were to be giving you minimum effort you used to be very happy about it but now you don't why because the page of swords is standing right behind the queen of cups so you can address this person through your emotional as uh, side and you can also address this person through your cognitive side so everything that they're doing it's going to go through two filters the emotions the intuition aspect does my gut tells me that this is the right thing to do does my gut tells me that this person is saying the right thing or the truth and then you have the page of source does things make sense does it align with what i want in my life okay this person is afraid of losing you and i feel that this process has started since scorpio season let's clarify that eight of pentacles devil the two of pentacles and also the four of pentacles clarify that six of pentacles for me five of cups in reverse Oh, yeah, they're working through their fears simply because, again, when you set boundaries, it kind of like triggers some sort of fears within them, right? They've become like, oh, my God, I'm going to be losing my grip on Leo. I'm going to be losing Leo if I don't step up my game. So 
even though there is a devil card there, I do feel that they're going to be putting, you know, some persistencies and consistencies within this connection simply because this person is so afraid of letting you go. They own you. You're theirs and theirs only. What can I do to ensure that Leo is mine and mine only? Okay. Let me clarify that six of cups right there. Love of Fortune, the Nine of Pentacles, and also the Judgment. Clarify the Queen of Wands. <laughs> you're very skeptical of this person, right? You're skeptical of them in the now, and you're also going to be skeptical in the future. This person is going to... Um, I feel that this person is planning something by the end of the year. I know that this is like a weekly reading, but I'm kind of like predicting maybe in around Capricorn season by the end of the year where this person is going to try to either gift you something that is very, very good. Like just basically something to get your emotional availability back, just to get you to your old self back. Maybe they could be wanting to travel with you. There's going to be a surprise here, but it's going to happen by the end of the year around Capricorn season, not this week. Okay. They're going to try to do that. And kind of like going to be making you a bit like you're pleased about it. I mean, like if it's the queen of wands, it makes you feel good. It makes your self-esteem lifted. It makes you feel beautiful somehow. But you also is carrying a little bit of a trust issues with this person. Like, uh, why all of a sudden? Why the change? Why the change? Because in reality, you still hold unwavering devotions and loyalty towards this person. Because, because it's been something of a pattern or it's been something that is of a habit for you. You know what I mean? It's been something that you're working on over and over again about you having this devotions and loyalty towards them. So it's something that you're used to, to carry. But when this person starts to treat you nicely and especially expect a surprise by the end of the year, that's when you start to become the nine of ones. Like, oh. Why the sudden change? Did you do something before that? Does, does Is this because of guilt that you do something? Like, you're you're going to question a lot, a lot and a lot when this person surprises you by the end of the year. Okay, so now let's pull some advice card for you here, Leo. Okay, so you got the Page of Pentacles, you have the Ace of Wands, and then you also have the Tower. Shift or a change here needs to be happening. If you haven't set your boundaries straight yet, the Page of Pentacles, okay, traditionally, traditionally, it depicts somebody who is standing with their pentacles and starting to eye it from top to bottom and evaluating its worth, right? Now, it's your turn to evaluate this connection from top to bottom, whether it's worth your investment or not. If it isn't worth your investment, starts to do something that is very, very drastic. Whatever foundation this relationship or this connection was built in the past, it wasn't built on a stable foundation because you have the tower card here. It wasn't. So it's either you want to be with this person or not, but that shakeup needs to happen. If you've been withholding feelings, if you've been withholding grudges, or if you've been withholding what you've been wanting to say all along, let it go. Say what you need to say. Because a drastic change needs to happen in order for you to be manifesting this future that I was saying earlier. Okay? So I think that is it for my reading for you here, Leo. I hope that you find tons and tons of clarity that you've been looking for. And I look forward to seeing you guys next week for another weekly reading. All right, bye-bye, guys. Have a great day. I love you.